Lost impacts. Was that all? Sneaking done. Fighting now. Cessation of hostilities complete. Time to fight. Is that all? An envoy of Vegas, yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of coward. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons prove... You dare speak that name, comparing him to any man of Kaiser will only earn you a slow death. You think me some lesser man, some other legate? I am the first of the Legion, and this gate to the West shall be ours this day. Huh. You believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics, or the strength... We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. You play on my instincts. Yet your intention in this... You have nothing to gain by telling me of this. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat, leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. Of course, and I guard myself from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here. Even as I take the... Telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words. 
and your coin is lacking. If what you say is true, then they shall answer for it. But you suggest I turn from battle to answer these crimes, when I can prove myself greater by meeting them than returning with the dam as ours. You almost convinced me otherwise. I shall make a cape of your skin, and your skull, it shall sit by my side. I shall honor your last words and die. This one looks pretty tough. Fighting over. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what What the hell are you on about? House. He's just a rumor on this trip. Never leaves his... What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas? What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait. Here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdrawal? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing. We just held the dam. We didn't do it to let it go. This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion. You know I won't surrender the dam, and certainly not to the Ghost Man of Vegas and his new Right Hand of the Week. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. True. Guess I'm a little too used to seeing Securitrons in Vegas to think they'd turn and be bad news. And I know how bad they can get. <laughs> Look. House. Vegas. It's pretty. Got you blinded. And if you say no, keep in mind what that means. NCR may have its problems, but when we're riled, watch out. I'm not going to throw away the lives of my men just to make a point. And there'll be other days. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? 
I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. He'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my estimate. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. But less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a few months, half a year. But soon enough, the tourists and their money will be pouring in. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, fair and kind-hearted to those in the wasteland, ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Mr. House showed little interest on the boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. Arcade was outraged by Mr. House's power play following the defeat of Caesar's Legion at Hoover Dam. Though he remained in Freeside for a short time after the Securitrons established widespread control, he eventually traveled back into NCR territory. Disillusioned with the followers of the Apocalypse, he settled down in the outskirts of the Boneyard, where he worked happily as a family doctor. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply line suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass lived to see Hoover Dam in its old world glory, humming with power the likes of which the Mojave had never seen. Vegas burned brighter than ever. Securitrons filled the streets, and Cass's heart skipped just a little. Her last words were to the dam and to herself. We were going full speed ahead, but facing backwards the whole time. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the Kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines, and were wiped out to the last man. Having never received a replacement brain, 
Rex finally succumbed to old age, abruptly shutting down forever one quiet morning. After two centuries of life and decades of service to humanity, Rex collapses and dies. While the destruction of the Repcon rockets appeared to be a boon to the salvagers of Novak, the benefit would never be realized. Radioactive fuel from the wrecked ships seeped out and contaminated the area. Salvagers were forced to move on, and the town was abandoned. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Despite NCR's pledge to support Prim, they abandoned the town after their loss to Mr. House. As repayment for their NCR loyalty, Mr. House sends Securitrons to Prim to protect it and collect heavy taxes from its citizens. After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. like me.